It always seems strange to think of the fight of your life, but when I look back on that diagnosis, it was pretty scary at the time. It started out as a, a small tumour and then it becomes a bigger because it's got into the lymph nodes and nobody can really tell you the story until they actually do some surgery. My name's Anna and I am a participant in ECU's Exercise Medicine Research Institute program. Triathlon's an awesome sport and I've always exercised, but when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I didn't actually realise that it could save my life. I started a program. First of all, they sent me uh, the link to the Catalyst Science program. I watched that and I was just so happy that somebody's actually doing something about exercise and cancer. Well, Emory Exercise Medicine Research Institute uh, was actually developed specifically to do research. Uh, examining exercises and medicine to treat chronic disease, in, in particular cancer, uh, but also to provide very, very important uh, clinical support for a wide range of patients as well. So it's being applied prior to treatment, for example, in the lead up to surgery to get the patient fit and ready and more resilient to be able to cope with surgery, but also getting them ready to cope with other therapies like chemotherapy and radiation therapy. In terms of exercise medicine, we've been in this field for some 15 years now and in particular we were one of the very early groups that got involved in application of exercise as a medicine for cancer. And subsequently we've built a very large volume of research and we recognise internationally for the quality uh, of the research that we do in a wide range of cancers but in particular prostate cancer. In fact we're the number one research team in the world in exercise oncology for prostate cancer. 